warning about an increase in tick-borne illnesses right here in the tri-state. Yeah, WCPO 9 News reporter Taylor Nemo spoke with local health officials about what's causing that increase here. Diseases spread by ticks are becoming more common in Ohio. Health experts say over the last decade, there's been a substantial increase. Specifically, reports of Lyme disease. We've been seeing an increase for about the last five years or so, up from, you know, dozens of cases up to, you know, four to 500 in the last couple years. In 2021, there were 590 Lyme disease cases reported in Ohio. According to the Ohio Department of Health data, there are about a dozen species of ticks that have been identified in the state. Entomologist and professor at the University of Cincinnati, Joshua Benoit, says we're seeing new species of ticks here locally, including the Gulf Coast tick. It was such a mild winter this past year that we're starting to see uh, more ticks that are surviving. So we actually do tick collections every month and we started collecting ticks as early as January this past year. So it'll probably be a, a bad season. But there are things you can do to protect yourself while spending time outside this summer. Wear long pants and make sure to use insect repellent on any exposed skin. You check your hair, check armpits, those areas, and you want to make sure that you don't have a tick bite because if you catch it early, you're likely to not get any diseases. That's why it's important to check yourself and your pets for ticks after coming indoors. It needs to be attached for about a day and a half to two days to transmit the disease. The sooner you catch it, the better. But if you do spot one, you want to make sure to get tweezers and get deep and grab the actual mouth parts of the tick and pull the whole thing out. You don't want to try to burn it off or use Vaseline or petroleum jelly to try and suffocate it. Uh, if you irritate the tick, it could discharge the disease into you uh, and, and that would just accelerate your, your likelihood for, for getting the disease. Taylor Nimmo, WCPO 9 News. Those are all some happy thoughts.